This might sound like a really kind of a lame question, but it's something that I think a lot of beginning photographers are curious about. And the question is, what are the most important skill sets to become a successful photographer? It's actually a pretty good question because I think the tendency is for beginners to go out and buy these great cameras and they believe that automatically their images are going to look good. That's just not the case. My experience has been that to become a great photographer in terms of pure photography, you have to have at least three things. And if you don't have them, your pictures are going to look awful. Number one, most important thing, is you have to have a core knowledge and understanding of photography basics, especially the exposure triangle, which deals with shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. This is how media is exposed to light. You have to understand how these three things relate to each other. But there's also a bunch of other things, such as uh, you know, how the shutters open and close, and and why things happen when you change a setting on any camera. You have to know these things. For the most part, the artistic skill set, a lot of people, it's natural for them, but I also believe the artistic skill set is the hardest one to master because it's going to take you a lifetime to explore. The artistic skill set has to do with things such as composition, creative lighting, making your images look pretty, placement of your subject, this is really the magic behind photography in terms of uh, you know, what makes an outstanding image versus an, an average image. We could talk about it forever, to be honest with you. Uh, the third thing, and this is also kind of basic, is that photographers have to have an intimate knowledge of their cameras. If you're on a wedding shoot, or if you're doing a portrait uh, shoot and the lighting conditions are changing, and if you don't know how to change those settings on a specific camera, you're gonna run into trouble when you're, when you're doing your shoot. So those three things, the photography core, the artistic core, and the specific camera knowledge, those are probably the most important things to focus on when you're learning to become a good photographer. Now, the good thing about this is I cover all three of those core concepts in all of my Canon Camera Crash Course DVDs. I think that's what kind of makes my videos stand out is that I focus on all three of those and then at the end I show you how to combine them in a portrait photography crash course. For 30 or 40 bucks, it's a great investment. Uh, another note I will say is that if you're shooting people, it does help to have great people skills. In fact, I have seen excellent photographers who take bad pictures because they give off uh, a, a, a negative vibe and their subjects are uncomfortable. Your ability to make your subjects feel comfortable in front of the camera are as important as your artistic skill sets. If you say something negative and they're upset, <laughs> you're gonna see it in the pictures. There's four quick tips I can give you to make your subjects feel a little bit more comfortable. Number one, learn their names and say them often. As soon as you start saying somebody's name, they're gonna start loosening up and they're gonna feel more comfortable around you. The second thing to do is to encourage them verbally. That means to tell them they look good and to praise them and compliment them you know, just in everything they do, the way they move, the way they're cooperating, little things like that. It needs to be sincere. The third thing I would definitely recommend is to show them the images. After you take them and you get some good shots, show them the images and help them to feel confident in front of the camera. The fourth tip actually comes from the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, which says, do not criticize, condemn, or complain. Now, if you can master those four principles, in any setting, you are going to have excellent people skills. So that's just kind of a, a quick breakthrough on, on how to talk to people when you're shooting. Now, if you're interested in becoming a successful business photographer, that's a completely different ball game because there are many more skill sets that are required in order to remain competitive. In fact, I have a list of eight things that are required for a person to become a successful photographer. Photography is number seven on that list in order of importance. Something that we're seeing in the industry now is that more and more people are buying DSLR cameras and they're going out and they're trying to start businesses, you know, doing shoots for 50 or 100 or $150 a shoot. And the truth of the matter is, is when you add up your time, your expense, your supplies, your gas, your materials, your overhead, in a lot of cases, you're only gonna be making five or six dollars an hour. And a lot of people don't understand that when they're getting involved in business for the first time. A lot of people don't know this, but I do have a crash course 
on business photography. It's expensive. It's $250. But for, for seven hours of training, it is phenomenal because it'll show you what you can expect and how expensive it will be, what kind of investment you're going to need to make in terms of time and money you know, to become a successful business photographer. I cover all kinds of things from marketing to business strategy, how to stay competitive. All those things are covered in the video. Now, I know some of you are skeptical, but what I've been telling people is the Business Crash Course DVD comes with a 100% money back guarantee and that if you purchase this video and you watch it and you do not feel that it saved you at least the cost of the video, tell me why you didn't like it and I'll, I will refund your money. And I'm going to say that on YouTube and leave it out there. So far, nobody has asked for a refund on the Business Crash Course. But starting a business blindly without knowing what you're getting into, definitely not recommended. In any event, I hope that answers your question in terms of what does it take to become a successful photographer. I'm Michael Andrew and thank you for watching.